Bibliography, Wikipedia article audio. Bibliography, as a discipline, is traditionally the academic study of books as physical, cultural objects, in this sense, it is also known as bibliology. Carter and Barker describe bibliography as a twofold scholarly discipline the organized listing of books and the systematic description of books as physical objects. The word bibliographia was used by Greek writers in the first three centuries AD to mean the copying of books by hand. In the 12th century, the word started being used for the intellectual activity of composing books. The 17th century then saw the emergence of the modern meaning, that of description of books. Currently, the field of bibliography has expanded to include studies that consider the book as a material object. Bibliography in its systematic pursuit of understanding the past and the present through written and printed documents describes a way and means of extracting information from this material. Bibliographers are interested in comparing versions of texts to each other rather than in interpreting their meaning or assessing their significance. Etymology Bibliography as a field of study Bibliography is a specialized aspect of library science and documentation science. The founder of documentation, Paul Otlet, wrote about the science of bibliography. However, there have recently been voices claiming that the bibliographical paradigm is obsolete, and it is not today common in lists. A defense of the bibliographical paradigm was provided by Gerland. The quantitative study of bibliographies is known as bibliometrics, which is today an influential subfield in lists. Carter and Barker describe bibliography as a twofold scholarly discipline the organized listing of books and the systematic description of books as physical objects. These two distinct concepts and practices have separate rationales and serve differing purposes. Innovators and originators in the field include W. W. Gregg, Fredson Bowers, Philip Gaskell, G. Thomas Tanzel. Bowers refers to enumerative bibliography as a procedure that identifies books in specific collections or libraries, in a specific discipline, by an author, printer, or period of production. He refers to descriptive bibliography as the systematic description of a book as a material or physical artifact. Analytical bibliography, the cornerstone of descriptive bibliography, investigates the printing and all physical features of a book that yield evidence establishing a book's history and transmission. It is the preliminary phase of bibliographic description and provides the vocabulary, principles, and techniques of analysis that descriptive bibliographers apply and on which they base their descriptive practice. Descriptive bibliographers follow specific conventions and associated classification in their description. Titles and title pages are transcribed in a quasi-facsimile style and representation. Illustration, typeface, binding, paper, and all physical elements related to identifying a book follow formulaic conventions, as Bowers established in his foundational opus. The Principles of Bibliographic Description The thought expressed in this book expands substantively on W. W. Gregg's groundbreaking theory that argued for the adoption of formal bibliographic principles. Fundamentally, analytical bibliography is concerned with objective, physical analysis and history of a book while descriptive bibliography employs all data that analytical bibliography furnishes and then codifies it with a view to identifying the ideal copy or form of a book that most nearly represents the printer's initial conception and intention in printing. In addition to viewing bibliographic study as being composed of four interdependent approaches, Bowers notes two further subcategories of research, namely historical bibliography and aesthetic bibliography. 
both historical bibliography, which involves the investigation of printing practices, tools, and related documents, and aesthetic bibliography, which examines the art of designing type and books, are often employed by analytical bibliographers. Branches of Bibliography D. F. Mackenzie extended previous notions of bibliography as set forth by W. W. Gregg, Bowers, Gaskell, and Tanz L. He describes the nature of bibliography as the discipline that studies texts as recorded forms, and the processes of their transmission, including their production and reception. This concept broadens the scope of bibliography to include non-book texts and an accounting for their material form and structure, as well as textual variations, technical and production processes that bring socio-cultural context and effects into play. Mackenzie's perspective contextualizes textual objects or artifacts with sociological and technical factors that have an effect on production, transmission and ultimately, ideal copy. Bibliography, generally, concerns the material conditions of books how they are designed, edited, printed, circulated, reprinted, collected. Bibliographic works differ in the amount of detail depending on the purpose and can generally be divided into two categories, enumerative bibliography which results in an overview of publications in a particular category and analytical or critical bibliography, which studies the production of books. In earlier times, bibliography mostly focused on books. Now, both categories of bibliography cover works in other media including audio recordings, motion pictures and videos, graphic objects, databases, CDROMs and websites. Enumerative Bibliography An enumerative bibliography is a systematic list of books and other works such as journal articles. Bibliographies range from works cited lists at the end of books and articles, to complete and independent publications. A notable example of a complete, independent publication is Gauss. A. E. Hausman, A. Sketch, together with a list of his classical papers. As separate works, they may be in bound volumes such as those shown on the right, or computerized bibliographic databases. A library catalog, while not referred to as a bibliography, is bibliographic in nature. Bibliographical works are almost always considered to be tertiary sources. Enumerative bibliographies are based on a unifying principle such as creator, subject, date, topic or other characteristic. An entry in an enumerative bibliography provides the core elements of a text resource including a title, the creator, publication date, and place of publication. Bellinger distinguishes an enumerative bibliography from other bibliographic forms such as descriptive bibliography, analytical bibliography, or textual bibliography in that its function is to record and list, rather than describe a source in detail or with any reference to the source's physical nature, materiality, or textual transmission. The enumerative list may be comprehensive or selective. One noted example would be Tansel's bibliography that exhaustively enumerates topics and sources related to all forms of bibliography. A more common and particular instance of an enumerative bibliography relates to specific sources used or considered in preparing a scholarly paper or academic term paper. Citation styles vary. Descriptive bibliography an entry for a book in a bibliography usually contains the following elements. Descriptive bibliographies as scholarly product. An entry for a journal or periodical article usually contains. Analytical bibliography. A bibliography may be arranged by author, topic, or some other scheme. 
Annotated bibliographies give descriptions about how each source is useful to an author in constructing a paper or argument. These descriptions, usually a few sentences long, provide a summary of the source and describe its relevance. Reference management software may be used to keep track of references and generate bibliographies as required. Bibliographies differ from library catalogs by including only relevant items rather than all items present in a particular library. However, the catalogs of some national libraries effectively serve as national bibliographies, as the national libraries own almost all their country's publications. Bibliographers Fredson Bowers described and formulated a standardized practice of descriptive bibliography in his Principles of Bibliographical Description. Scholars to this day treat Bowers' scholarly guide as authoritative. In this classic text, Bowers describes the basic function of bibliography as, sufficient data so that a reader may identify the book described, understand the printing, and recognize the precise contents. Descriptive bibliographies as a scholarly product usually include information on the following aspect of a given book as a material object. This branch of the bibliographic discipline examines the material features of a textual artifact such as type, ink, paper, imposition, format, impressions, and states of a book to essentially recreate the conditions of its production. Analytical bibliography often uses collateral evidence such as general printing practices, trends in format, responses, and non-responses to design, etc. To scrutinize the historical conventions and influences underlying the physical appearance of a text, the bibliographer utilizes knowledge gained from the investigation of physical evidence in the form of a descriptive bibliography or textual bibliography. Descriptive bibliography is the close examination and cataloging of a text as a physical object, recording its size, format, binding, and so on while textual bibliography identifies variations and the etiology of variations in a text with a view to determining the establishment of the most correct form of text. A bibliographer is a person who describes and lists books and other publications, with particular attention to such characteristics as authorship, publication date, edition, typography, etc. A person who limits such efforts to a specific field or discipline is a subject bibliographer. A bibliographer, in the technical meaning of the word, is anyone who writes about books. But the accepted meaning since at least the 18th century is a person who attempts a comprehensive account sometimes just a list, sometimes a fuller reckoning of the books written on a particular subject. In the present, Bibliography is no longer a career, generally speaking, bibliographies tend to be written on highly specific subjects and by specialists in the field. Non-book material The term bibliographer is sometimes in particular subject bibliographer today used about certain roles performed in libraries and bibliographic databases. Systematic lists of media other than books can be referred to with terms formed analogously to bibliography. Creator, title, place of publication, publisher or printer, date of publication. Arachneography is a term coined by NASA research historian Andrew J. Butrica, which means a reference list of URLs about a particular subject. It is equivalent to a bibliography in a book. The name derives from arachne in reference to a spider and its web. Creator, article title, journal title, volume, pages, date of publication. Format and collation slash pagination statement a conventional, symbolic formula that describes the book block in terms of sheets, folds, choirs, 
signatures, and pages. Discography Recorded Music, Filmography Films, Webography Websites